everybody. It's Michelle here. How's my hair? It's never good. <laughs> it's wild hair. It's just going to do what it's going to do. So we had a heck of a message for the weekly. We're going to try to break it down into the dailies. This is the daily for October 25th, 2021. Yes. Let's, let's just see. I don't even know. <laughs> Please make sure that you are liking and sharing. If you do like what messages are coming through, there's lots of different types of readings out there. Um, oh, got it uh so anyway if you like this message please make sure that you are doing that and of course if you want your own personal reading an akashic records reading or an angelic reading go to angelsouls444.com if you'd like to do an archangel meditation challenge or check out the other content i have over there there's a ton of stuff go to gumroad.com slash angel souls it's literally i don't even know when i started gumroad it's probably i don't know i'm guessing four or five years worth of content yeah Check it out. All right, so we have new beginnings. It flew out of the deck and I went over here on my little, <laughs> my little, I don't know what these are. I guess it's like a little charging grid thing with fuzz on it. I have my Swiffer out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Metatron. <laughs> Metatron's cube. All right, so there's that. Anyway, maybe that's significant for some of you. Is that floaty just going all over the place now? Okay, we're good. We're back. Hi, we're here with each other. Hi. All right, new beginnings, Archangel Jeremiah. Starting a new life. Hold everything. Resurrecting. Oh my God. Okay, give me more on this before I read the card. Tell me. There doesn't have to be a death toll. There doesn't have to be tragedy even. But we bring this to you. For you are not listening. It is not to punish. It is what you've asked for. These reminders. We do not bring the destruction. That is your collective energy that cracks and creates fissures in the earth. Your hate for one another is reflected everywhere. And it's not even true hate. These are not your true emotions. I'm hearing these were impeded upon you, which in my human mind makes no sense. That's why I'm sitting with them. Um, okay, I'll go back in. Okay, we are. It is from many thought forms and many lifetimes and being disheartened, not realizing you have any power anymore. And so your power is expressed over one another and in awful ways. These are truly your siblings. Be there for one another. Set boundaries where necessary. Okay. We are creating the disasters with our energy we know that right that's why we do peace meditations and such when i read starting a new life I, I i literally i just had a moment i was thrown finding your purpose a forgiving and compassionate review of the past we're saying in the weekly that it is looking back over how could this happen? Why did this happen? How could we be better prepared in the future? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's all these things that are so unexpected. I think from here on until we get into like 2030, we will be seeing what I want to call this rocket and rolling, right? It's just one thing after another. Now, what will happen for a lot of people who either sort of unintentionally fall into victimhood because they don't understand their own power or people who do intentionally fall into victimhood because they like the attention it brings. If you fall into victimhood because you have been hurt, uh, this is going to give you a pathway for healing. Yeah. It, it's like a spectacular, <laughs> like, hey, I should try acupuncture. Cool. Why don't we do that? Right. I mean, or it could be, <laughs> or it could be having a major breakthrough in understanding how to care for you. Okay, for some of you, it might be waking up to a toxic uh, relationship dynamic 
and you finally say, you know what? Okay, I'm going to find help to get out of this. And some of you may need to find help to get out of your situation. Um, men or uh, masculine energy, let me put it that way. Uh, masculine energy, but it did feel like I saw men. Uh, there's an aggravation that's rippling through the divine masculine. And it has this effect of like men, like some men acting out, which we've seen, right? And then I, and then I hear carrying that heavy burden, but it's not what you think. It's not like, oh, everyone's going to hate men now because men are in the news and da, 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 da. It's not that. There's a massive healing that needs to occur with the divine masculine and it's done through the divine feminine. If you have a woman in your life, she could be a friend, a sister, a mother, a love partner. Let her hug you, okay? <laughs> I mean, you know, don't don't make your healing her job. That's your job, right? But uh, tune into that that divine feminine within you. Everybody has both, all right, in different <laughs> variations, right? Different combinations. Uh, so. Allow yourselves to be balanced because I'm feeling, because there, for some of you out there, like you have excessive burden on you and some of you, especially when you go down this spiritual path and you know, anybody who has a, a lot of feminine energy, if you say, this isn't for me, I'm clicking off. Why would you do that? <laughs> Don't you care about other people? It's not always going to be about you. I said it. Okay. It's not always going to be about you. Chill your buns. Okay. Jeez. Have a scene. <laughs> anyway. Hang with us. You never know what's going to come out of my mouth. But <laughs> for men, I, I do feel like there is um, a reckoning. Actually, I heard a reckoning. And even I was saying, you know, spiritual people, when they go on their path, um, there can be this detox moment. There is this moment of kind of the old falling away. So there might be more awareness for a lot of you who would be watching this video than for some others. Uh, or maybe you have become resentful. A feminine energy that it's manipulative or that you are to blame for everything right Th that I'm just reflecting back what's coming through you'll be able to balance this somehow okay and also speaking to anybody who uh, is embodying more feminine energy than masculine this is where so funny because just the other day I was like man I'm really good at like creative stuff but I really stink at like putting it out there guys I wrote my first novel 20 years ago why am I not published <laughs> and I worked for a major publishing company what gives I'm bad at it okay I'm bad at going hey um can I have help number one <laughs> and two um y'all think differently than me and I I know you got your expectations and I've got mine but can how do I, how do I do that? So that's kind of more the masculine, I guess, stereotypically, um, you know, being out there and, uh, or maybe even if I can put it in this way, generalizing, like taking charge kind of energy, very Martian energy, right? Um, yeah. So the, so that feminine energy, if some of you out there are embodying the feminine energy, maybe you're starting to embrace more setting those boundaries, going after what you want. Right? But remember, power is not acting like a man. <laughs> it's being perfectly balanced within yourself and vice versa. Right? Um, power is not acting like a woman. It, it, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like we just have to be what is in our natural path and be balanced within these energies. Some is common. I don't know if it's going to be specifically today or even this week, but we need to get prepared. It is not so that you are fearful. But everything that I say here, even if I didn't articulate it just so, I don't know, uh, <laughs> let it land with you and see how it plays out. Let that be part of your prep, okay? And comment down below if you end up figuring out what the heck I'm talking about because <laughs> right now, I'm not sure. It's, it's just coming out. I don't know. It's just coming out. So we will have to see how it plays out. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day. And as always, I'm sending you so much love. Take care.